Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. And welcome back to the Manifest Destiny of L.A. Noir. Last vice case. The last case, yes. You can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. No, he can't. Judge, it's not good. Thank you, Phelps. And that's Everyone terrible. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. Everyone has their vices. What is that supposed to mean? In other words, it's like with my mother and a cigarette thing. No matter how hard you try to beat them off of it and stuff like that, poor choice of words, admittedly, but no matter how hard you want to stop people from doing it, if their vice is strong enough, they're going to find a way to get it. More milk. Huh. What's with the cost of milk? We got a dead judge. It's their vice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we got a dead judge. Phelps said that's not good, so apparently it's terrible. Found, from 20, found 20 surrettes of army surplus morphine. Jesus. Oh, just you wait. 20 surrettes? Why would we change our outfit here, Elliot? We're yeah. that same clothes since Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> How about the outsider? The outside. Actually, we're going to be seeing the outsider a bit, so it's not such a trip it is. Oh. I hate those patches. <laughs> Yeah. I think they really I think they accentuate in this outfit rather than Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Okay. Do you not care for that dispatch call? We are moving on. We never have yet. Oh, red star ring! What? You just missed a sonic, a, a, a sonic reference. What? Where? That ring, the back up a bit oh, there, Elliot. Oh, this better be funny, Matt. Go, keep backing up. Keep backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Bing up. What? Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's an, oh, it's an <laughs> RC Cola. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, it was a sign for anarchy. And Elliot continues it's to sign, demolish. It's a sign for the apocalypse. Of the 1940s. I actually don't mind you fucking this car because it belongs to Roy. <laughs> Dirty, crooked cop. This is like the most damage I've ever seen this car get before without it breaking down. I don't think I've ever seen the back this messed up. Jesus Christ. And there goes the neighborhood. Monster truck jam! Sir, so, really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, God, car's better! Car too. <laughs> Ah, the garlic like, is gonna turn around and start shit. Oh, these honky motherfuckers did not do what I think they did. <laughs> well, we're here. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because he's gonna be such a ladies' man. Oh, son of a bitch, the phantom block got him. Oh no, that's blood. Hey there, buddy. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Bad luck? Really? My old, my old war buddy's dead. Tough brick old chap. What? I said. Either he was hit hard in the face or he was crying bloody tears. Are you trying to take are you trying to teach a corpse how to waltz? <laughs> <laughs> I have it, this dance. Wait, what's in here? 
Do you want to use some intuition? Hello. They didn't even try to crack the safe. Hmm. It's odd. I'll use some intuition on this one, Elliot. Lock, lock the safe, otherwise we'll get to it. Oh, can't do it. No intuition? You can't. No. Sometimes they do that for some reason. Because you're probably driving like a fucking maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of getting, instead of getting um fired, he just loses his intuition points. Certainly sends a message. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I really sent a message. Dozen rounds on him. It says, "Fuck you." That message says, "Overkill." Yeah. Did they got extra AP? When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Check out this hat. And we can't check out that hat. But we can investigate the bottle. Where were you on the night yesterday? Don't fuck a lie to me. What's in this? Trump boner. It's a Trump custom case. Some Trumpet boner. No way. <laughs> so, our victim is Satchmo. Hmm. You hear that? What's that click? Bojangles? No. Wait a minute. Satchmo date rape Bojangles. God, I still remember that day. You hear that? Right? is always telling me no, Satchmo, no. I can't hear anything because Matt won't shut up. Sorry. What was it? Neat trick. Find anything interesting? Huh. Case must have cost more than the trumpet. Wait. We're way down. Follow up on the musician angle. That looks like he kept his oh. stash close at hand. Hmm. You know, I can't imagine morphine being used with trumpet playing. That would really throw off a few fucking notes, don't you think? <laughs> Probably end up in the brown note or two. I call this OD to morphine. <laughs> the O to morphine. That was a very good point there, John. This is coming from what's left in circulation. Nice tie. It's like the most dead bodies I've ever seen in the damn cave so far. In one area, anyway. And I don't count the traffic incidents. <laughs> what about all the people LA ran over? That's what I was talking about. Oh. <laughs> not, no, I wasn't talking about the traffic desk. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't watch his face again. Okay. I wonder who his barber was. It's <laughs> <laughs> so right here. What? Is it? Whoa. More morphine. No. Good. Man. Hmm. A dozen packs to a carton. A hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. My dozen. mother could smoke that in a week. A dozen? Hmm. Holy shit. Must be small packs. BAR. Assault rifles. M19. This is brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Isn't that this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Maybe he knew three guys. Army surplus morphine, <laughs> army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. She said, that's the doubt it. If I here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Or you could have hid. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. <laughs> Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. We're ready. Oh, sorry. Nice shoes. 
<laughs> Phelps, work the morphine angle. I'll work the stiffs. Okay. Phelps, you find the drugs. I'm gonna talk to <laughs> dead guys. <laughs> They bring in like Haley Joel Osment for the friggin' special surprise witness. <laughs> oh my god. So what now? We worked the morphine angle. We all got to the blue room or. Uh, yeah, let's go to the blue room. We need to unwind now. What? We need to unwind now? Well enough. <laughs> Wondering if your favorite That's singer is singing the two. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you think. Oh. You know what? I honestly didn't think it was that close myself. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the main theme. Actually, not the main theme, the FPS theme. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink? While I see to this. Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Oopster meant sure? Wait, Ellie, do you have the script? People are dying of overdoses. <laughs> because we really want to know just what it means. Unter... Unter gleich mein Gott. Unter Sturm Fieder. A reference to Amon Goeth, which is certainly not a good sign. What does this mean? It's a rank. It's a paramilitary rank of the German Schutzstaffel, first created in July 1934. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies Black man buys. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Very noble. But... Words are just words, Corfels. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Mm -hmm. why, does he want, why does he want to hold it off until tomorrow morning? No, but it makes him kind of suspicious. Yeah. 
It makes me raise an eyebrow. The first time we actually see his car. Oh, oh, oh actually, oh. you're tailing out some. But for what? This is the first time we actually see Cole Phelps' car. So we have our objective, the location, and a person of interest. Yet we're tailing Elsa. That's our objective now, but for what reason are we doing this? Phelps, stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you certainly have the right. Mo you certainly have the right mo of doing it. <laughs> I know I'm asking for a lot here, but I'd like to have a recipe by the end of this let's play. Of all of his jobs, of all the jobs we've given Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure one of our loyal subscribers could take the count for that. Of course, hey, I, I, I don't knock them. They're really research They're really intuitive people. For God's sakes, we got one keep a track of all the deaths of Mario Wii U. <laughs> And I expect an Excel and I expect an Excel party chart by the end of that. Let's play. I mean, did you see? Did you see the videos of me driving out to Moonlight Sonata? I loved them. Yeah. Thank you all for participating in that. It was a <laughs> really amazing views. My particular greater movie season. We've been at risk losing the trail. You're right there. He's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's talking to the crazier voice in his head. That would happen to be Elliot. Yeah. He has split personality disorder. On one side, Cole Phelps, a, a goody two shoes who wants to uphold the law. The other personality, Elliot Cancel, a maniac who runs down everybody and participates complete traffic laws. <laughs> okay, Phelps. We're at her apartment. Phelps is non plus. Phelps is secretly the trench coat guy I'm out here, son of a bitch. <laughs> But why are we? Why are we here? Uh, why are you here? Pelican. Oh no. Phelps. Wait, Pelican. Pelican. No. Ah. Phelps. You don't think? He's going to. He wouldn't be that fucking stupid. He can't. He is. He knocked on the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't have cell phones in the forties. Detective ever. I know, right? What's he here for? I mean, what else are you going to ask her? Ah, interrogate. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. You fucked a German drug whore? Oh, my God. What did you see? What did he even was... see in her to jump after her like that? I sure as hell no, ain't no fucking looks. Oh man, this is this is not gonna be good. Phelps, you fucking pinhead. Ah, uh, now I can't get over that. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow me. Anyway. So Phelps ham slapped it up with a German drunkie. Junkie. Junkie, the sorry, that's a drunkie. Burgers. LAPD. We have some questions. Hi, Mickey. Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. Fish and the chicken. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not gonna put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star up on Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. 
So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. Let the record show that is not Sean Penn. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Hey! What's going on? That fucking no, rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Roy, I'm kind of, I know he's a really dirty cop and quite a jerk off. Some part of me just seems like he just adapted to the corruption a lot quicker than most other cops would. I can see what you're doing there. You got a minute? And what he's saying is sure, like... Cole, anytime. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor smoke. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? I want to make homicide. You know you made it. Gold also, Jack? Do you see that? Jack Kelson, oh, right here. I said all Courtney Sheldon, too. Oh, look at that. Felix Avaro. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Okay, here are the items. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Enough to arm three companies. Here's our backroom arsenal for 419. Christ, Jesus Christ. 300, no, 300. More, there's more, 300 more. 400, 400 is for the N1928 Thompson submachine gun. Shit! 300 M1918 30 caliber Browning auto rifles. 8800 cartons. This is great we recovered. My mother could smoke that in a month. 500,000 morphine feet. surrettes. Wow. Half a million surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Some of these guys are from my old unit. We must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, but Goldrick. 
McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! 